So first of all, what is a swarm and how is it different from, the cr from a crowd? Uh, typically when people talk about a crowd, especially in the context of like the wisdom of crowds, it's usually, they're usually taking a poll or taking a vote. And those are usually done what we would call asynchronously, meaning I can poll a thousand people and, and do that independently to each of them. They have no interaction among themselves. They're not uh, pushing and pulling off each other. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna get their discrete input from a thousand people, uh, not even at the same time. And I'm gonna find the average and I'm gonna get uh, what basically is a snapshot of what that group thinks. And so a crowd is really analogous to a poll and a swarm is really analogous to a system. And what's interesting is that a, a poll is very often polarizing, meaning I can, t I can take a poll of a population and it will tell me the difference. It will tell me exactly the differences among that population. It will tell me this percent of the population uh, thinks this and this percent thinks that. And in fact, if I publish that poll, all I will do is get that group to be more entrenched. And so the polls actually drive further polarization. And so it's actually a really bad way to tap the wisdom of crowds because what you're really doing is you're exposing the extreme views and even driving the extreme views. Mm -hmm. A swarm does the opposite. A swarm, as opposed to being polarizing, is actually unifying. It's actually asking a group to consider an issue together and actually negotiate in real time. They're pushing and pulling, and they're finding the solution that they can best, that the whole group can best agree upon. And so with a swarm, you might not reach the, you might not reach the decision that is the most popular, but you will reach the decision that the group can, can best agree upon, that the group can best accept, that actually maximizes the satisfaction of the group, as opposed to just taking, uh, as opposed to just taking the most popular answer. Mm -hmm. uh, and so um, swarms and crowds are, are, actually, are actually pretty different. And from our perspective, swarms have the potential to actually uh, find, allow groups to find common ground, uh, whereas crowds tend to, to shift towards the extreme and have just one voice that drowns out every, everybody else. Mm -hmm. If you guys enjoyed this show, you can help me make it better in a couple of ways. You can go and write a review on iTunes, or you can simply make a donation. 